Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we're gonna be checking out some viewer creations. Now, before we check these creations out, I wanna go ahead and thank you guys for the 50K subs. It's absolutely amazing. We will be doing a little special episode tomorrow, and then on Saturday, we'll be doing our Halloween episode in Scrap Mechanic. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the creations here. Now, you're probably noticing the hearses, and this is the perfect time to play with these creations. Now, in the campground episode of the town, I built a hearse, and it's this one here. And it's a fairly nice hearse. Uh, I don't know why I even built it. To be honest with you, it doesn't really go with the theme of the campground, but still nice nonetheless. Now, I made a joke during that episode. It was kind of a morbid joke. I said, wouldn't it be funny if we can just launch the uh, coffin that I have in the back? I said, it'd be funny just to launch it out and it just be a thing. So, uh, me and Khan originally kind of played around with the coffin. We attached a rocket to it. I never actually launched it out of the vehicle. Well, I've been working a lot with Non-Newtonian recently. And he's done something with the... Uh, with the hearse here and this is probably my favorite modification to one of my vehicles ever so here's my hearse and look at the spider web now yes folks that is 40 bearings in there he's made this thing into a full-blown coffin launcher and I don't know what to say it's it's so wrong but it's probably the best creation I've ever seen so let me go ahead and hop in real quick now it still drives, it is a bit laggy, so this is why we're playing with it first. Now I was going to save this, I was going to save this for my town special for Halloween, but I decided, well the whole fact of it's really laggy, and when I put it in the town I was getting like 10 frames a second, and it was, I mean you can already see, there's not many objects out here right now, and it's already still running pretty bad. So I decided let's go ahead and use this today. Now, let's go find a spot. I'm going to go in this little open area over here, and we're going to use this thing, because this is amazing. Oh, man, this is laggy. This is really laggy. I really hope, which, fingers crossed, the new engine should be out next week, hopefully by the end of the week. I wonder how it would handle this thing, but anyways, what we're going to do here. Uh, let's say we're going to maybe try to hit that tank over there. So we're going to stop here. Now, we're going to open this thing up real quick. Now, the hood still functions and the doors still function, but the three key opens up the back and the uh, roof hatch. So, we're going to go back here, and let me get a block out because I need to be able to delete this correctly. So, there's one block you have to delete here in the back, and it's the, one of those little caution blocks. It's over here to the left. You can see it right there. I'm going to delete that. So, now the coffin is loose. Now this is available on Mr. Newtonian's workshop. I will link it in the description. But check this out. This is crazy. So we're gonna hop back in, and actually we'll just use the wheel here to get back in. I do apologize for the lag, it's just a, it's kind of a really crazy contraption. So we're gonna hit the four key here. Now check that out. Yes, it transforms into a coffin launcher. And here we go. Now the coffin has a 30 second timer on the thruster in it. So it will cut off, it won't go stick to the other side of the map. But watch this. Here we go. <laughs> that is completely wrong. That is... Oh, when I saw that for the first time, I couldn't stop laughing. And actually, it's stuck to the ceiling. You probably can't see it from here. Now, it's got a 30 second timer, so it will deactivate the thruster on it and will fall back to Earth. Now, you can, and I think he has it on his workshop also, you can just download coffins for ammunition instead of having to spawn another coffin launcher here. But yeah, I mean, that that fits the Halloween theme, and that's also really extremely wrong, but I love this creation. And as you can see, it's set on another timer. It'll fold back, and you're actually ready to go driving again, but that's uh, that's fantastic. Yes, I, I definitely, that's staying on my lift. I'm, I'm going to break that out when I whenever I can. But yeah, we're going to have to delete this thing real quick because it is a bit laggy. Let's go ahead. There we go. Yeah, it's amazing that he was able to keep it pretty much the same. The only difference I noticed between this hearse and the hearse over there is the wheels poke out just slightly more, but that's it. So let's get this out of here. Actually, you can see the spider web. Oh, wait, no, it's not connected anymore. I think after you launch it, you can still see the connection to the rockets. He's using some sort of, uh, I guess it's like a uh, wireless glitch, and which I thought it was actually fixed, but apparently it's still a thing. 
and you can actually see where the rocket landed by using your connection tool. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to the next creation. Now the next creation is a RV by Pound Cake. And I mean this in the most manliest way, but that is the cutest RV I've ever seen. And this thing is packed full of features. Now look at the spider web on that. You can tell it does quite a bit. He was actually worried when he emailed this to me. He thought maybe it was gonna lag too much, but as you can see, I think you can somewhat make out the counter in the top left. I'm running at 60 FPS right now, so it's not too bad. So we're gonna open it here. And you can see he's got this really, I love those stairs. I like how they fold. So you can see him come out, it's like a ramp, then it folds to stairs. So we'll walk right in. Now, this thing's pretty much got everything you need. So we're gonna shut the door here. And then we're gonna go, you've got a um, little stove over here. And of course, there's ducks in it. Always gotta have ducks in it. And also, I'm gonna be disappointed. We've got a house back there if it doesn't have ducks in the fridge. Because that's just a thing. So. Uh, back here you've got, which that appears to be, okay, that's where you can get to the engine and are those thrusters? Yeah, they are. Okay, that seems a little bit overkill, but this should be really funny. Uh, I can't picture this thing needing thrusters. But uh, let's see, you've got the bed up here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this thing here, I think you hit this switch. And that moves the uh, stove out of the way. So now you can actually lower your bed. That is extremely cool. Now the only thing this thing doesn't have, I, I haven't found a bathroom. Uh, not unless it's hidden down in a compartment somewhere. So we're still doing it the old fashioned way. We're gonna go pick out a tree and uh, do our business behind it. But yeah, that is a really awesome little compact RV. This is I really like, I want to use this in the town. I, I pictured going camping in this thing. But yeah, let's go ahead and try driving it real quick. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, are we using the suspension glitch? That feels like it. That thing turned instantly. Wow, that was a, uh, that's shocking and, uh-oh. How do I get out of this thing? Um, well, the door will lift itself. Oh, that's not gonna be it. Oh, actually, that might be, wow. That's, <laughs> that's kinda cool. That yeah, flips itself over, okay. Oh, getting some lag, getting some lag. Okay, there's the lag, found it. Okay, we're gonna drop it here. All right, let's try driving this. I didn't see a suspension glitch. Okay, those are the back wheels, which are not, are they on glitches? Maybe that's it in the back, but actually I think the back wheels turn. I don't see any, hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go over to this side and let's try round two here. Hopefully I won't crash this time, so. Okay, I can't close the doors from there. So the doors close from here. So the one key is that thrusters? Yeah. Okay, those are the thrusters. You can see me going along a little bit here. Uh, the two key is uh, this is like the Batmobile or something. It kind of like opens up, and you got your back thrusters here. Okay, let me turn those off real quick. This thing's still turning like a suspension glitch, but I think it turns off of four wheels. That's that's actually really nifty. This thing turns nice. It's got a lot of pickup. It might actually need to tone down the motor a bit. Uh, let's see if we can maneuver through here. Let's go ahead and activate them thrusters and see uh, what type of speed we're dealing with here. And This is a little speed demon. That's impressive. That's really impressive, actually. And I just, I love the way it looks. It reminds me of like a classic RV, kind of like your old, maybe 70s or 80s RV. And it's like this miniature thing. Maybe it's a, maybe it's like a hippie RV or something. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that was sweet. Yeah. No, that isn't a suspension glitch. Okay, because I'm turning this normally with a suspension glitch. I thought there for a second when I was balancing on the two wheels, you can normally like turn either left or right and the vehicle will just turn in place. So no, he's just got the steering nailed on this thing. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and drive this back. Now, like I said, if anybody's got YouTube channels or workshops, I will link them below. So if you want any of these items, they'll all be linked below. I believe Mr. Pound Cake has this on his workshop and see, this is a scrap mechanic thing. I. I'm so thankful I believe that engine's coming out next week because hopefully it'll fix this. This is like a physics glitch. Okay, you see the door stuck and this is not the creator's fault at all. So what you do here, place a block, there it goes. That is, I almost just want to say that's stupid, but yeah, that's a thing. So anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to get this out of here real quick. Try to save all the frames and we're ready to go to our next creation. All right, folks, we have another house. Now, this is by somebody that we've covered before. 
His name is Bob the Trooper, and I want to go ahead and publicly apologize to Bob the Trooper because last episode I, I did two screw-ups. A, I missed a couple things in his house, and B, I called him Bob the Builder, and I felt really bad about it. And I meant to edit that out, and I didn't do it. So I do apologize, Bob. Uh, definitely go check out his workshop because I think he's got maybe some more houses and some vehicles on there. But anyways, this is kind of like a... Um, Hmm, I wouldn't say it's a modern house. Maybe it's just like your pretty plain looking wood house. Maybe like an older style house. I'm really looking forward to see the inside of this. I know it's a nice pathway. He's using those light blocks, which I've never used those yet. Uh, this is a, is that a mailbox with a uh, cactus in it. That seems kind of dangerous for the mail person. And what is that? Wh what? That is a, uh, that's a contraption here. Okay, that, this is going to be worth checking out. I guess I just break this off here. Okay, what does this do? This is a- whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, yes, there's two suspension glitches on the bottom of this thing. Okay. Okay, let's quit turning here. What happens when we just go forward? I don't think I've ever seen toilet paper rows used as wheels. I mean, that's unique, and I don't think I can turn this thing without spinning fully. It's like a breakdancing, uh, I guess, vehicle or like a cart or something. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but this is kind of cool. But yeah, this thing's got a lot of power, and when you turn, you just kind of do that. Uh, let's set it up one more time. Let's give it another go here. Okay, that's forward. Now, even if you barely tap the turning here, you're either doing like a 180 or a complete 360, so... That's a thing. That almost feels like a, uh... I don't know what that feels like. I, that would be kind of cool to have multiple of those and maybe try to race those. That would be probably the hardest race ever, but... Yeah, that's a thing. Let's go see what else we've got around the house before we uh, go inside here. And target practice? No, there's a ball here. Okay, you know what? I think I've seen this before. And I don't know if he came up with this or I think I've seen several people do this. I think Brent Batch did this too. This is a glitched part. Obviously, that's like three wheels into one. Now, these things scare me because I always think they're going to like explode the world, but... Let's go ahead, we're gonna drop this. Hopefully the game doesn't do anything funny here, so. Okay, seems good. Okay, so these are nice because you don't really have a wheel or a circle like this in Scrap Mechanic. A lot of times you can try to imitate that uh, with a, like some, uh, the square blocks like put together, but you can't really get it that small to get this shape, so. Yeah, I think turns perfect. That'd be nice to have some sort of, I don't know, sports game or something and use this ball because that's an awesome ball right there. Um, I know, I think it's Durf or MJM. I think it's the Durf, officially called like the Durf mod. His latest pack has a bunch of like uh, soccer balls and stuff like that, but this is uh, something you have in Scrap and Kick. I don't know how to do this either. I think some people have some videos on that and I'm really afraid to delete like one of the wheels because I don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to leave that there and we're going to go inside. All right, time to go inside. I look forward to Bob the Trooper's houses. He's always got some pretty unique items. There's always like a secret in the house. So uh, let's go in here. I think this is a, oh, that's a doorbell. Let me in, come on. Okay, got that, here's the door. And ooh, that's a nice clean looking house. Like I like the colors, that's a, uh, it's really nice. Okay, what do we got here? And we've got, oh, there's a fridge. Is it in there? Is it? There it is. There's a duck. Yep. Is there any other ducks? Nope. Nope. Okay. There's one duck. So the house is a pass. I like this house. But yeah, before we catch the kitchen or look around it, let's go ahead and see what we got over here. We got a little living area and a nice remote. Uh, let's see. That's, that's annoying. I guess it's that horn up there. Uh, the TV doesn't turn on, of course, but it's not a thing in scrap mechanic. It's kind of cool looking though. Over here, you got a nice little breakfast area, and this, is that an air conditioner? Yeah, it's an air conditioner. So yeah, you've got this, you got the uh, breakfast area here. I love breakfast bars. Those are always really neat in houses. I'd like to have a house like this, like with a breakfast bar. It's uh, cool looking. And oh, is that a microwave? Oh, please, please do what I think you're going to do. Come on. Oh, that's cruel. That is awesome, though. I guess we've kind of already done some bad things in this episode. So you might as well microwave a duck. That's cool. I like the lighting up there. Uh, you got a sink over here, radio, just some little knickknacks. Uh, those open. Okay. Got oh more ducks. Got some ducks up there. 
Uh, looks like an oven. Possibly you have maybe a pizza or something going on in there. Or maybe it's a pizza with a box. Might not want to uh, put that in the oven like that, but that's cool. Uh, what do we got over here? Let's see. This is a... Ah, controllers. All right, this is the controller closet. Slash, looks like we do have some storage in here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got over here? Shoe rack. Question is, how many stories is this house? Normally his houses are kind of deceiving. When I see them, I'm like, okay, that's like two stories. And normally I think they're either three or four. Uh, looks like we've got at least, that looks like it's three. So up here, this looks like a, another living area. You've got that. He's uh, done a really good job with the windows. I don't really like these panels because they're odd shapes, but he's he's done a good job with them. I, I like the way these look. And oh, is that what I think it is? Okay, last time I checked out one of his houses and a lot of people got onto me. Uh, there was a reference in the house that I didn't understand at all. There was a little bed under the staircase and apparently it's a Harry Potter reference and I had no clue. Like it went completely over my head and yep. Yep, that's what it is. There's your Harry Potter room. That is, that's cool. Should make somebody sleep under the staircase. Anyways, uh, we've got a bookshelf over here. Oh, I like how you did the book leaned over. That's kind of cool. Uh, we've got a... This is a bathroom. Okay. I'm digging it. I like the uh, counter. I like the way he's done a lot of this. It's a nice shower. Uh, there's another duck. That is a really nice shower. Oh, another duck. We've got some shampoos. I like the way he did the uh, faucet here. That's really cool looking. So, we've got that. What else do we have in this house? Uh, this is... Ah, this is a bedroom. I almost wanted to say this was a gaming setup because I saw the monitor over here. I guess this is a TV. And is that just a chair? Let's see, I think you're supposed to delete these caution blocks, so... Delete those. I don't think it actually does anything. I think it's just a loose item. Uh, he doesn't have, like, a bottom to, like, stick it on, so... You just kind of... I guess you can probably hit this thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a fairly heavy chair. That's pretty cool. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, I guess we're ready to move upstairs. So let's go upstairs. What's up here? Oh, this is your attic. Okay. Hmm. There's a button over here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. What's this over here? This is a an opening. I got your nice little balcony out here. Hmm. What is this? I want to say this is probably some sort of a escape vehicle. And if I had to guess, is there another bearing over here? There is a bearing right there in that. Wait a minute. That's all hooked down there in that controller. Hmm. What happens if I... Is this going to be the wireless glitch too? I always thought this was fixed. Oh, it is. Okay, I think I know what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna get inside this chair. Let's hit the one key. Yes, it still activates. So yeah, that is the wireless glitch. So you can activate the roof panel here and I'm assuming two is the thruster. So there we go. We got a nice little escape hatch and oh, we didn't really make it very far. Oh, what the heck? Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's very unfortunate. Let's go ahead and turn that off real quick. Wow, that's a thing, so that's cool though, you can still see it connected to the house with the uh, connection tool there, but that's a cool creation, so I want to thank Bob the Trooper for sending that over. But anyways, let's go to the uh, last creation here. Okay, this is a yacht made by Funboy for the win. He's been, I think he's been a long time viewer of the channel, at least he's commented a lot on my videos. I think he's been here for a while. And this is his yacht, and look at the spider web on that. That is a lot of thrusters down there, so... I'm assuming this... I think I know how these work. I'm not necessarily the best at creating hover items. I always kind of leave that to Khan. Uh, Khan helped me with my big hover ship that I did uh, a couple months ago. But what's happening here... Okay, you've got all the thrusters. Uh, some of these are going to be activated on different, like, things. So, like, say this sensor here. If sensor's hitting the ground, it's activated. So this is probably, like, a stabilization sensor. Uh, back here... Okay, there's the steering. So it looks like we've got a bearing back here and I'm assuming yeah those are two sensors so that bearings probably got a pipe on it and as you turn left and right it'll cover one of the other sensor and it'll activate a couple more of these uh thrusters and turn it so you're a pretty standard hover ship there let's see how it works I love these things these are always fun to uh drive around here and what is this 
Okay, that looks like one of the little control areas, so you've got that. And here's the interior. This is uh, kind of nice. I don't know if he didn't color this, or maybe he's trying to keep this wood, because I'm seeing, like, say the window here is a darker wood, so I think he's kind of keeping this natural wood color that's in the game and not coloring it. So you've got that. Looks like a bedroom in here. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, looks like we've got... This is an empty room, actually. Yeah, these things are really hard to uh, build sometimes. Say if you want to stick a bunch of stuff in it. That galleon I built was an absolute nightmare. Because you would start to stick stuff in it and it would start to... The weight properties would change and everything would shift over. And then you have to readjust all your thrusters and whoa! That is impressive. That is a lot of thrusters for this little ship. And considering this is made out of wood, that is a lot. Like, that's probably almost as many as I had in that big one. That is crazy. Wow. That's impressive. I'm kind of looking forward to uh, driving this thing. So let's go up here to the second deck. Uh, I guess, was it? The poop deck's the third deck, I believe. Towards the back. I don't... Uh, that's strange. So anyways. Uh, what's in here? Looks like we've got... Oh, this is a bathroom. Okay. So you've got that, and then we're going to go up to the third deck. And here we go. This looks to be the captain's deck, or the poop deck, or whatever you want to call it. Question is, the terrain is really bad over here, so this is going to probably be hard to fly or hover. Uh, i got to find the flat area. Let's go ahead and try and see what we're dealing with here. So one key is... Is... I don't know. What is the one key? Sounds like we're activating something. You know what? Let me turn the particles on real quick. That way we can see what's happening here. Okay, I have the particles on. This will give me a little better idea of like what's actually activating. Not really sure what one's doing. So let's see. How does this thing steer? Two is... Okay, two is to make it get up in the air. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it actually does steer off the WASD, so, yep, it's using that sensor, you've got that one thing, and oh no, oh no! Oh, we bottomed out! Oh, that's tree. Yep, this terrain is going to be really hard to drive this on. Hey, we've actually hugged up against the tree, though. Uh, let's try turning here, see if we can get it off this. Uh, this is going to be really hard to do, and it's just kind of the way you have to do this in Scrap Mechanic right now, with the, uh, the sensor approach, and with the way the terrain is so uneven. When the boat's moving, say, up and down, it's hitting different little pieces of land, and those thrusters are trying to keep up and adjust, and you can see them somewhat activating. Actually, that worked. Wow. I didn't expect that to work. I thought I was going to have to reset here. We're still on terrible terrain. Let me see if I can get this thing going forward. We might have to go to the outer edge. It's not quite as bumpy, but we'll see what happens here, and actually... Ah, it's got a nice motion. It feels like maybe you're actually on waves. It's one cool thing about almost every hover ship. It does this because those thrusters are kind of correcting. Oh, actually, the stabilization thruster works really good. It was starting to tip there, and it corrected itself. But, yeah, these uh, these thrusters, they'll get further away from the ground, so they'll kind of create this bobbing motion. And it always looks really cool. It actually, especially if you have the water mod like we did in the multiplayer Monday uh, last week or last one it, we had that water mod and we we're using cons power boats and it was creating this little bobbing motion and it actually looked like we we're on water so that is a that's really cool it's a nifty boat handles nice the uh, nose is poking up a little bit so I don't know if the maybe the front thrusters are a little too powerful maybe they're not maybe they should lessen but I really haven't bottomed out so that's a good sign now this might be a little tricky I'm trying to get to this outer part of this map here so let's see if I can hopefully I can adjust here and let's we'll see if the stabilization sensor catches it uh yeah that's just that's too rough of terrain there let me uh respawn it actually is it gonna save itself no okay let me hop off here and we're gonna respawn out on the outer edge all right now we're sailing this is going pretty good I'm a little sideways but I think it's gonna correct itself here hopefully Oh, we're drifting. We're drifting. We're dealing with some uh, tides here. Come on. Oh, that is a tree. That is a tree. Here we go. Correct yourself. Correct yourself. Come on. Here we go. Oh, that made it. Oh, we made it. Oh, we might not make this next one, though. Oh, it does. Wow. That's pretty good. That's saving itself. I mean, we're going to... Yeah, we're barely even hitting. That's uh, really good on those stabilization sensors. That's one of the better ones I've seen. 
Uh, if that would have been mine, I would, we'd have just dug in and probably flipped over there, but that's pretty cool. That is an awesome yacht. Uh, this is also available on his workshop. Now remember guys, like I said, we are gonna, whoop, I might have screwed it there. Oh, here we go, trees. <laughs> yeah, we need to do this one in a flat world. That is still cool though. I like the way it looks. It's a cool modern yacht. Am I stuck? Are we in the tree? We might be in the tree. But yeah, that is uh, really cool. I want to thank Mr. Funboy for the win. Or I'm assuming that's for the win. It could mean something completely different for sending that to me. Like I said, I'm going to link everybody's workshop in the description. I'm going to link everybody if they have a channel that they've linked to me. That will go in the description too if you'd like to check any of these out. But like I said, folks, thank you guys for the 50k subs. I will do something special for you guys tomorrow. We're going to have our Halloween episode on Saturday in the town. So if you'd like to join us for that. And I've got another special episode for 50k coming uh, next weekend, hopefully. It's a pretty big build. Hopefully it works out good, but... Anyways, guys, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. If you want to send anything to me, I'm going to flash the email up on screen right now. I accept all creations. Uh, if you want to send it either in a workshop link or just send me the whole world, either way works. But anyways, guys, hope you have a good day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.